Although the Second World War was a brutal era, it was also a time of great technological advancement, especially in the field of aviation. Aircraft transitioned from propellers to jet engines, leading to the development of transitional models such as the Martin XB-48 medium bomber. In 1944, the United States was influenced by the frontline German jet aircraft and proposed a new jet-powered medium bomber development program. Several companies, including North American Aviation, presented their own designs. The Martin Company proposed the Model 223 design and was given the designation XB-48. The XB-48 bomber's aerodynamic layout was clearly a continuation of the Martin B-26 twin-engine propeller-driven medium bomber. The aircraft had a more streamlined fuselage, with a bubble-style cockpit and a high straight wing without a sweep, and a tail section similar to the B-26. Although jet engines provided more thrust than piston engines, the XB-48 had an empty weight of 26.5 tons. It was equipped with six General Electric J-35 turbojet engines, each with a thrust output of 17 knots. These engines were divided into two groups and installed in compartments under each wing, with gaps between them allowing for airflow to cool the engines. However, the aerodynamic layout coupled with these engines could not achieve high speeds. The XB-48 had a maximum speed of approximately 840 km per hour, a maximum altitude of 12,000 meters, and a maximum range of 3,900 km. While its speed was considerable compared to propeller-driven bombers of World War II, it did not have an advantage over other jet aircraft, even among early jet-powered bombers. The XB-48 had an internal bomb bay capable of holding a large 20,000-pound bomb or 36 250-pound bombs, showcasing its considerable bombing capabilities. Like other early jet-powered bombers, it also retained self-defense armament, with a tail turret housing two M2 machine guns. The aircraft's landing gear was unique, with a front and rear bicycle-style configuration distributed fore and aft of the bomb bay. To balance the aircraft, a small wheel-type landing gear was also installed under each engine nacelle. This unique design made landing more challenging, but it was a compromise due to the thin wings not being able to accommodate larger landing gear, and the limited space in the fuselage to accommodate the bomb bay. Martin Company built a total of two prototype aircraft. The first test flight occurred in June 1947, nearly two years after the end of World War II, and encountered difficulties, with all four tires of the main landing gear blowing out and the actual flight speed not meeting design expectations. The second prototype was completed in 1948, and the company proposed an improved design using turboprop engines in the XT-40, but the military was only interested in pure jet-powered bombers, leading to the termination of the XB-48's development in 1949. Neither of the prototype aircraft were preserved. The first prototype was used as spare parts for the second, which was eventually transported to the Aberdeen Proving Ground and destroyed after some testing. The XB-48 bomber had an empty weight of approximately 26,500 kg, a maximum takeoff weight of about 46,500 kg, a length of 26.14 meters, a height of 8.08 .08 meters, a wingspan of 33.02 meters, a crew of three, a maximum speed of 841 km per hour, a cruising speed of approximately 770 km per hour, a maximum altitude of 12,000 meters, and a maximum range of 3,900 kilometers.